I saw this really, really cute DIY vintage home bathtub thing. And because Perfectly Posh is about bathroom care as far as face and lotion and feet and all of that, the bathtub plays kind of a key role into that. I went to the dollar store because that's where she bought her things. And I bought a couple of different little things um, than she did because I couldn't find what she had at my dollar store. So I just kind of did what I could. I have two of these, one in pink and one in teal. And this is the teal color. I got these larger ones. So she had the galvanized buckets, but I'm gonna paint these. I just bought some glossy white at my local um, hardware store. With that, I bought these the plumbing department is so awesome. Who knew that you could shop in the plumbing department when you have zero plumbing experience? These are called a J-hook. I think it holds things up like this. Hmm. I'm going to hold things up like this. This is going to be my faucet. This is going to be my tub. This is going to be my storage bin for some things on my table. I'm not exactly sure how I'm using it, just that I need to have this. I bought some E6000 at Walmart. It was a couple bucks, three or four bucks. So this is how I'm gonna do the little one, is glue that J hook in there and make that be my faucet. Again, at my local hardware store, called a J Bend. Again, I know zero about plumbing. I don't know what this is for, but it looks like a faucet head. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it from the inside or the outside because really it makes zero difference. Probably from the inside because that looks like a super cute like wash bin. Zero function other than holding my things. But I think it's going to be super cute. So let's get crafty, shall we? Here's my bucket. It's got two coats of paint. I'm gonna use the Mod Podge and some tissue paper. I tore it up in pieces. So hopefully it will fit inside of this bucket pretty decently. So we have the bucket painted, I have the J-hook painted and glued on with the E6000 that has dried for a couple of days. So I'm just going to use my paint box to prop this up, get that J-hook off of the table so that it sits flat. I've got my ruler. I've got the legs I've painted. I'm using um, wire caps. And these are stuff, this is just stuff that I had or my husband had around the house. So, using this E6000, I wanted to make sure that my bucket stayed nice and flat because it takes quite a while to dry.
So I'm going to put a good amount around this end cap. But this is the pink basket that I Mod Podge the tissue paper in. I think it turned out super cute. It's definitely something that I am excited to use at my vendor event. I did put some cotton balls and some lights in there and some just miscellaneous bathtub items with soap and lotion and um, a face mask in there. So. If you want to follow me, go ahead and subscribe here. I also have a Facebook page, um, Simply Pampered with Posh by Candy. I'm on Instagram as candy.and.g. You guys have a great day. I hope you enjoy the rest of whatever you've got going on, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.